Here with the review and install of the SR Performance V2 Height and Dampening Adjustable Coilover Kit for all 1994-04 Mustangs that do not have IRS. Gonna cover the install in more detail later, but I'll tell you right now that this install is straightforward, but it's a little bit of work, so I'm gonna call it a two out of three wrench in the difficulty meter. Generally speaking, coilovers offer a way to get away from the fixed drop of a lowering spring. Typically, a lowering spring is gonna be best for someone that's looking to simply lower their car, but coilovers are for people that are looking for customization in their setup, more performance ability, or to get lower than a static spring will allow. The SR Performance coilovers are gonna be for those of you out there that are looking for a coilover kit on a budget that's still gonna give the benefits of both ride height adjustment and damping adjustment. This kit is about half the price of any other option that's currently available, and it's a step above an entry-level coilover kit that only offers height adjustment since this gives you the ability to adjust damping as well. That being said, this is SR Performance's V2 kit because of that reason. They do offer a V1 kit for the same price, which will be your entry-level kit, and that kit will adjust height only, and it's not going to have the integrated caster camber plates that the V2 kit has. The dampening will already be preset for you on that kit. Both kits are going to have a drop range of 1-3 to three inches all the way around the car, which does happen to be the largest range of height adjustment that's currently offered from a coilover kit. Most other coilovers will cut you off at lowering the car just over 2 inches, or right at 2.5 inches, so this kit does give you the option to go a little bit lower if you wanted to. The other big feature of these coilovers is the included struts. The struts have the dampening adjustment capabilities, and they also have integrated caster camber plates. The struts are monotube struts that are 16-way adjustable, which means that you have 16 points of adjustment that'll let you stiffen or soften the ride quality. The caster camber plates are built in, they're not removable, and they cannot be swapped with another caster camber plate. The caster camber plates are an item that you're going to want to have when you're lowering your car, especially if you're planning on lowering one and a half inches or lower. This is because your stock components don't have the ability to get the car's alignment back within spec when you lower it that much. You need the help of the aftermarket CC plates to help align the car properly. As far as fitment, I did want to be clear here and tell you guys that this kit will fit all 94 to 04 Mustangs that do not have IRS. So you IRS guys out there will need another kit that will work with your setup, like the KWV3 coilover kit. When it comes to price, this is the most price friendly that you can get for a set of coilovers, especially with a setup that isn't an entry level kit and that offers both height and damping adjustment. You're looking at spending close to $750 for this kit, which is about half the price of other kits that only offer height adjustment. You also have to keep in mind that you won't need to purchase a set of caster camber plates for these coilovers because they already come with the integrated plates. The install for this coilover kit is going to be a 2 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter just because it'll take a little bit of time and work to get the job done. You're looking at about 4 hours time and you need a few different tools as well as a jack and jack stands or even a lift to make things really easy on yourself. And again, it's nothing too difficult but just a little time consuming. You have to break down everything like the calipers and rotors and get your old shock and strut and spring set up out. Luckily, since this kit is a direct replacement and since the front coilovers come already assembled, all you're looking at needing to do is sliding the front coilovers into place and getting the top hat nuts back on. Once those are tight and the coilovers are in place, you need to make sure all locking colors are tight on the struts. The rear is a little bit different, but you're still looking at needing to remove your factory components. To prep your new spring, you'll place the threaded lower mount, two locking collars, the spring isolator, the spring, and then the factory rubber isolators in place. After the springs are installed, the shocks can be installed, and those go in the same way that the factory ones came out, and that's pretty much it. And then don't forget, you might need a little extra time to get the ride height dialed in to your liking. You're going to want to make sure that you're spinning the strut assembly in and out of the lower strut mount when you're adjusting the ride height. You don't want to make your adjustment on the spring. You may end up having to do a few adjustments to get the car to be where you want it to be, and then you have to make sure it's even on each side. You're going to want to make sure you're setting up for whatever you plan on doing with your car or for the performance that you want out of it. And then keep in mind, after tweaking this much of your car suspension, you're going to need a good alignment to make sure your car is good and in spec. Wrapping things up here with the SR Performance V2 coilover kit, this is a coilover kit that will allow you to adjust both height and dampening. It gives you a wide range of height adjustment, 1 to 3 inches, and 16 points of dampening adjustment at a very affordable price. As always, you can check it out more online right here at AmericaMuscle.com.